Virginia Beach native Al Midget is the founder and CEO of The Nobleman, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to identify and perform noble deeds for great local kids who are in need of help. The idea for The Nobleman came to Al 20 years ago with the birth of his son, Matthew. Got a phone call from my wife that said, hey, something's not right. We need to get down to the doctors. And um, I got there, and the, my wife was in the hospital at that time and said, um, your son is going to be born early, and um, it'd be a good opportunity perhaps to consider not having him, uh, simply because this was at 22 weeks. And uh, you could abort a child at that early age, and and the doctors basically asked me. I said, "What? I said, what are the chances?" And he said, two percent." And um, I remember telling him, "I said, well, let's just let it ride, and we'll make a decision as we go along." But, you know, the adventure started then. Because Al's son was born premature, his health insurance had not kicked in. Al found himself five hundred and sixty thousand dollars in debt. And my friends came to the rescue, which was cool. They knew I was in a jam. I'd grown up all my life here in Virginia Beach. Through the years, the noblemen have held events to help kids. Seeing the impact that his organization had on young people sparked the idea to expand its reach. And as a result of that philanthropy, we now have noble teens. And we have noble teens, over 400 of them in local high schools in Virginia Beach. And the basic tenet of noble teens is teens helping teens. So look out for your fellow teen and do something that, um, that's great. So um, one of the greatest things we did started out with third graders. Now we're working on teens, and who knows where it's going to go from there. As the organization grew, members from the surrounding cities participated in meetings held in Virginia Beach. It was decided to start chapters in several Hampton Road cities. Ladies took notice to this expansion and wanted to start Noble Women. Women process things differently than men, and I took that to heart, and uh, so far it's worked. But not only do we have noble women, and as I mentioned earlier, we have noble teens, we even have noble pets. People smile when I say that, but we've done a number of things in the community where we've uh, funded families that needed a, a service dog, or perhaps a reading dog, or even um, just finding ways to give back through pets. Through the years, many leaders have been a part of the noblemen. Several of these leaders have created other ways to give back to the community. It's great to see leaders come into our organization, find their niche, find their passion, and then use us as a platform to jump and do their own thing. And then we all do it together and just find ways to give back. And for leaders that want to take a step to do something, I think you have to follow your passion. I think it's passion that outlives every, everything else. Uh, the passionate people endure the obstacles and become professionals at what they do. And those are the leaders that you like to follow simply because they do it better than anybody else. And so my advice to others is do what puts a smile on your face because it's no fun to be successful and not be happy. Today, the noblemen have an office building and want to grow the organization more professionally in Hampton Roads and expand the reach to many more. And develop that platform to take to other communities, perhaps that, that don't want to start a new Rotary Club or don't want to start a Kiwanis but like to do something on their own. Well, I would love to be that springboard to help other communities discover ways to give back and have a good time doing it because we truly enjoy what we do and we know we make an impact.